Hello my valuable friends and welcome. I'm Titi Vick and in today's video we're going to immerse in this beautiful world of masculine and feminine energy, of men and women relationships and we're going to discuss why men and women are actually created for each other. Are men and women created for each other? Or is that correct that there is a war between these genders that is happening for now? And why actually men and women need each other? Why and how can women and men heal each other? And how we can grow with each other? So this video is dedicated as my gift to mankind, for women and men to understand that we are actually not enemies, but we are one and we are for each other. We are designed for each other. Before I start, let me tell you that you can book one-to-one -one session with me. You can do online courses that I have. I have a special, unique, beautiful website where you can have different courses about dating, about relationship, about the psychology of men and psychology of women and understand yourself, understand your self-esteem in dating so you can succeed more. All the links are below and you can donate, you can purchase my books, you can buy any luxury items or the dresses that I wear. Everything that you see on this channel is created for you. For you to benefit so take care of it look at the descriptions read analyze and contact me if you need my help so let's start first what i want you to understand that men and women are designed for each other we are created for each other you know it will be so not interesting if there would be no men in this world i am personally physically attracted to men i love men I am emotionally attracted to them. They're different. They are more logical. They're more calm, you know. Of course, sometimes we women can be calmer, but in general, they're very attractive to me. The way that they create their success is so alluring for me. Like, how can you generate thousands just like by your energy? You wake up and you think, I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy this car. I'm going to create this house. And it's attractive for me. Ooh, how are you getting all these resources? It's attractive because it, it plays with my psychology it plays with my biology that i'm attracted to this provider type i'm attracted to this man who can have this provision who can have this progression of his life so we are created for each other and you know as a woman you're very attractive to a man your body is incredibly alluring for a man men will do everything in the world you say by just oh my god this body i want her and there is a reason for that i'm not talking about just the last for a man to have with a woman and i'm not talking about women just after running after the man's finances this is not we don't this is not that type of a channel this is a very classy channel this is a very traditional channel i am talking about that we are attracted to each other by the resources that we have and we are created for each other so we can benefit each other lives there is something very big that happens in a man's mind who has the woman of his dream and who has the opportunity to be intimate with the woman of his dreams. Do you know what it does to a man? It literally blows his mind because he creates everything by that sensuality that you give him at the moment when he's touching you, caressing you, kissing you. Intimacy between man and a woman is the ultimate joy for both genders because we are created for each other. And when a woman and woman, uh, men are being intimate with each other, they are creating something in the whole world. They're changing the world. Of course, they can create children, but they can create businesses by just of that act. You have to understand men and a woman are created for each other because they actually are designed biologically to fit each other like two hands, like gloves. They're perfect. It's like a red uh, left shoe and the right shoe. It's like the left glove and the right glove. They're created for each other. They are a pair. And that's why I always say that it's a little bit um, actually wounded to think that you don't need anyone, that you can be alone, that you can do everything on your own. I cannot do everything on my own. Mm -hmm. Please come in my life, help me, take care of me, save me, protect me. I need. Now, when you understand that men and women are created for each other, you will not be in war with them anymore. That men and women, they create different channels and there are two different countries in a war with each other. And I always could not understand this because in my mind, I don't see anything wrong in with men. I don't see anything wrong with women. Why can't we just be with each other? Why can't we just love each other? 
you don't need to be friends with men because you are opposite gender. That could be a little, you know, um, misunderstanding theirs because uh, opposite genders, it's very hard for us to be friends. We're not designed to be friends. That's why if any man in his life ever will ask me to be his friend, I will not even answer. Thankfully, I have never had that. Thankfully, I'm always attracted to a very classy men. They don't even have this opportunity to even think about me as a friend. They just want me as a woman. So for you to understand that you are created for a man if you're a woman, or if you are a man, you are actually designed for a woman's life, is actually going to be life-changing. When you walk next time in the street, or you're driving in your car, or you're sitting in a restaurant, don't think this is, oh, my opposite. Oh, this is a war zone. Oh, this is the enemy. Think about, hmm, I'm created for men. Hmm, men, yes, they're created for me. You see beautiful woman if you're a man, say, oh yes, this woman, these beautiful women created for me. I am created to serve these beautiful women. We are created for each other. And there is a very big plan, an idea actually behind this division. You have to understand if a man and a woman are not together, we are powerless powerless we are very powerful together but if you do not accept that there is a role in the man's um man's role in your life if you're a woman you are highly mistaken and you're living in your delusional painful state trying to do everything your own you can't do everything your own and even you think about it you think that you're alone and you're single and you're independent and you're strong you're not my groceries are delivered by men. Men drive those trucks, men put those boxes, and men come with those trolleys to give me groceries, to deliver to my house. Men are the ones who are cutting the grass in my house, who are cleaning, who are taking out the bins, who are coming out, taking everything, who are bringing me all the parcels. Men. It's just men. It's like I live in the world of the men and they serve me. I go to the restaurants, the managers are men. Okay, would you like this? Would you like this? And they always treat me. You know, they cannot resist. They take it from their salary, you know that? When they treat you, it actually gets deducted from their salary. So they take their salary, they don't know me, and they treat me. Please, this cake is on us. Please, let's see this is on us. And please, this is from the chef. Uh, the chef can see me from the kitchen. This is complimentary from the chef. And I'm just, thank you. I'm a woman, I receive. Men are created for me wherever I go. All my drivers are men. They help me, they open the doors, they uh, take care of my luggage. Men, everywhere serving me. They're created for me designed for me and i accept them i acknowledge them i am so grateful i compliment them i don't look <laughs> of course you need to serve me i'm a princess yes i know i'm a princess but i don't treat people like they're peasants i don't treat them like they're my slaves i treat them with gratitude i bless them and it's a pleasure you know when someone is blessing you you want to bless them even more you you want to give even bigger tip you uh, the you want to pay even more for your driver and I always say, you know, take this to the, your wife or let me give you some additional because I want to bless because he's created for me. Any man is created for you. And you are, if you're a woman, you're created for a man. So forget these games that you're playing with each other. Stop manipulating each other. Stop being at war each other. Stop creating podcasts with these microphones on your face talking about it. I think, I think you can hear my voice okay. I don't think I need that thing on my face. Stop doing this. That's insecurity that you need to talk about each other and harm each other. You are created for each other. That's the original design. And you can do whatever you want. You will never be able to change the stars or the moon. Neither you're going to be able to change the design that actually we have as women with men and men with women. So stop fighting with each other. Just get married, be happy, enjoy love, you know, make love, create love. What's the point? That's why there is a sentence when it's better to take care of uh, actually love than creating war. Now, number two, what I want to tell you is that actually men and women not only are created for each other, but they need each other. Now, in a lot of videos, you can hear that they're saying that don't say I need because it implies that it's lack. But this is not that moment right now. We're not talking from this neediness state that I don't have and I need and I'm going to beg and I'm going to cry and I'm going to fight. No, by the word need is acknowledgement that there is something that I don't have and I desire that. It doesn't mean I'm lacking and I will die if I don't have. If today I don't eat salad or today I don't drink a glass of water, of course, it's going to hurt the stomach. It's not going to be nice for my body, but I can survive without that. 
But if every day I don't drink water, if every day I don't eat food, that is going to be detrimental and it will cause my, you know, not being in here. So you have to think about it. When you are saying, I don't need a man and you're walking with this proud face, you look like a man, you talk like a man, you smell like a man, you work like a man, you are the man. If you say you don't need a man, we have a huge issue, huge, huge issue. Please contact me below. Please contact any psychologist. Please contact any therapist. You have a big problem. A woman who says that she doesn't need a man is not a true feminine woman. That is not a woman in general. That's a man. Man that looks like a woman. So we women need to be a little humble. Kind of swallow your pride. Pride is never good. Pride in relationship, you can kill relationship by pride. So relax a little bit, okay? Start breathing easily. No one is attacking you. And say, oh my God, of course I need a man. Me? I am created for a man. I need a man. My man, my superhero, I need you. Come to my life. I need a man. I need a man in the morning. I need a man in the afternoon. I need a man in the, in the, in the evening. I need a man in the night. I need a man all day long, all night long. I need him. I need his help. I need his support. I need his masculine provision over my life. I need his protection. I need him to provide for me. I need. And I accept and I admit that I need. Because if you don't ever admit that you don't have something, how is that going to come? If I need a dress, I'm never going to admit I will not go to the shop. Okay, then you're not going to have a dress. We're not talking about lack in this video. We're talking about acknowledgement. Oh, I need a man. It's like I need a dress. So my action is go to the shop, pay the money and get the dress. Of course, it's uh, the man is not like this. You don't go to the shop and you buy a man. You know, this is, <laughs> this is not what I'm trying to say. I'm just making a metaphor that when you accept in your mind that you need a man, there is something that opens in your heart. Your heart kind of trembles in a way that you are not anymore in your masculine this uh, protection and uh, covered uh, guarded energy you become more at ease and someone is carrying heavy things for you you say thank you so much i really needed your help i really appreciate this i want you to understand as a woman walk and sometimes say i need a man just like this inside no one need to know no one need to understand just walk and say i need a man when you go to bed, relax yourself on a pillow and say, Oh, God, I need a man. I need a man. And I want him. Not only a need, I desire a man. I want a man. Can't wait to be with a man. I need a man. It's the most alluring thing you can say. To a man say, Oh, honey, I need you. He'll be like, oh, I'm melting. He'll be like, <laughs> You see, only water left from your man. He melted away. <laughs> Because women are too arrogant to admit that they need someone. Me? Need someone? Oh, Yes, you do need someone. You're not created to be on your own. You're harming yourself. No person can exist by himself. So now we have learned that we are created and designed for a man. And man is created and designed for us as women. And the second we acknowledge and realize that we need to admit and accept. And actually say by words loud or inside of us that I need a man. If you're a man, you need to say, I need a woman. The same is with a man. You know what is successful man? A man who has family to take care of. Ultimate success of a man is to be able to have provision and provider ability in the family. A man who does not have a wife and who doesn't have kids, it's not a true fulfilled man. It's very easy to take care of yourself. It's very easy to buy yourself designer dress, designer uh, beautiful um, a jewelry, design a belt, and whatever you want, or design a car or a house, very easy to take care of one person, yourself, because it's one month you're feeding. But the successful man is actually the one who admits that he needs a woman and legacy, and he marries her, and he takes care of her and kids. That's success for me. Now, the third aspect, what I want you to pay attention to, is that men and women are created to heal each other. Now, of course, this doesn't imply that you become his therapist or he's your therapist. No, of course, don't do this. This is harmful for both. But you have to understand when you're in relationship with a healthy man who loves you or you're in relationship with a healthy, emotionally, physically healthy woman, 
it's inevitable that you're going to heal each other. Isn't that beautiful? That you're going to heal your childhood traumas, your blocks, you're going to heal your abandonment issues, you're going to heal the resentment that build up, you're going to even heal your parent wounds, you're going to become closer to your family and more loving with your friends, you are going to heal your money wounds. Men and women need each other because we heal each other. We are designed to heal each other. When men in a tribal times, they will go to hunt, they will come and they will have all these cuts and wounds on their body and the woman will nurture them and kiss the wounds and put the medicine and clean the wound. She was loving him. She was healing his body, healing him mentally, healing him with his support, with her support emotionally being there for him, healing him so tomorrow he can go hunt again. Men are still hunting to this day. Every time when your man is going to work, you have to heal him the day before. That's why when men and women, they make love to each other, they heal each other. A man and a woman are healing each other physically, healing each other emotionally, healing each other, each other spiritually. Men and women are designed for each other so they can heal each other. Doesn't matter if it's a limiting beliefs. It could be some blocks. It could be some thoughts. It could be some fears or doubts. But you heal each other day and night. You can heal each other. How can you not want relationship? You know, first time when I experienced that a man is healing me, some things that I went through, I realized that I want this man in my life. By just being with him in his arms, he was healing me without saying anything. He was not doing any therapy lessons on me. He was not educating me. He was not turning any video for me to watch. He was just healing me by his presence, by accepting me, by loving me. He was healing me. So for you to understand that <clears throat> something needs to be changed in your life is to acknowledge that men or women, we are each other healers. In a relationship, it's where you heal the most. I will say to you, if you are normal, if you are balanced, if you are not um, completely broken, if you are still can you know balance things in your life, I will say start relationship. By the time you're in a relationship, you're going to heal. In a couple of weeks, you're going to be healed. You don't need to go to therapy for 10 years. You know what can heal you? A man's touch. His true embrace. Deep kiss. That's healing. That is a faster healer than 10 years of therapy. So don't think that you need to become perfect. Even if you're a man, don't think you need to buy another house. You already have one house. You're good. You already have one car, car. You're good. No, but I need to do this. I need to do that. That's fine. Relax. You already have it together. Focus on love. Be with a woman. You will buy another house. You will get another car. You will write your book. You will become that a wealthy businessman you want. Focus on love. Let yourself to be healed. And the last what I want to discuss in here, that men and women are definitely for each other. We are predestined to be with each other. Predestined. That means that you cannot discuss this. This is written. We're predestined for each other because only by being with each other, we can grow. By growth, I mean reaching your potential. By growth, I mean you establishing family, you having children. Yes, of course, nowadays you can have children on your own. You don't even need to know who is the donor of, you know, the, the seed. But I don't think it's healthy especially for the child to come to this world not being wanted not being cherished not being requested it's like it's um it's like a plastic surgery it's not real you're faking it it's like a fast food it's not real food it's like processed food it's not the real meat so you're faking it that's why i mm, i understand the wish for a woman you know to have children i would like to have five kids sitting right now around me but, you know, that's why I put my energy somewhere productive and I'm healing the planet. I'm helping you. I'm teaching. I'm sharing. I'm guiding. So I'm still loving. I'm not waiting. But I don't think it's healthy for a woman to have a children on her own. That's another broken family you're created. And you know what's interesting? That those are the women who actually usually come from broken families. And I think that if you're not married, if you um, don't have a man you can rely on and you need to work all your life alone, the ch child should not come into that environment. It's very hard. You're already coming with a broken, you know, it's already a lost game. 
So take care of these thoughts in you and say, you know, I need a man and a man, I need a woman so we can grow with each other. So we can create legacy. So we can have children together. So we can create beautiful family together. We need each other so we can grow. So we can reach our potential as, as human beings. That's why stop all these games that you're playing with each other. Stop hurting each other. Love each other. Embrace each other. Appreciate each other. Kiss each other. Hold each other. Give gifts to each other. Spend time with each other. You are not created to be alone. It's just a conditioning of a nowadays society that you need to be alone. So you're weaker. So we can abuse you and use you. And you can buy everything we sell. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm getting married soon. And, uh, oh, my husband, oh, my God, you don't even imagine. And my kids, oh, my God, my house, my car, oh, I'm so happy. I'm creating my family. Now, let's summarize again. Women and men are, first of all, created for each other. By original default design, we are created to be in each other's lives. Number two, we learn that men and women need each other. It's a biological need, it's an emotional need, it's a physical need. We need each other and we need to admit that, oh, I need a man. Or if you're a woman, if you're a man, you need to say, I need a woman. So admit this need. That's natural. It's not lack. It means that you have desire. And for you to fulfill the desire, you have to acknowledge your desire. Number three, we discuss that men and women heal each other. You don't need to be perfect. To be in relationship you don't need to fix your teeth you know you don't need to have a perfect haircut you don't need to have a perfect body to be in relationship you are good enough now love now if someone is interested in you now let them be in your life and slowly you will improve your body you will have the haircut you will fix your teeth but be happy now and heal each other heal each other pain and traumas it will be natural you don't need to talk about it just by being in each other's presence holding each other in safe arms you are healing every day you're healing each other and lastly we discussed that men and women when they're together they grow each other they create families they get married they create healthy children and create legacy and that's the ultimate power of the human being to reach your potential and to look up and look down and look around you and say these are my kids these are my grandkids that's wealth wealth is not a designer bracelet oh my god i love this bracelet no, wealth are my kids. The noises that I can hear, that they're running and playing around, that's my wealth. My wealth is my man. Just to look at him, at his power of his masculinity, protecting me, he's my wealth. My wealth is my beauty. My wealth is everything that surrounds me. But look at the right values, how you create your life, and grow with each other. This was an amazing video. I can feel the energy is changed. And I want you to walk and just admit that, yes, now it's my time. Now it's my time to get married and I'm ready. I wish you to focus on the right things and have the right values and appreciate each other. Men love and respect women. Women love and respect men. We are created for each other, designed for each other. For us to love each other, be with each other, help each other, support each other. Thank you so much for watching. And let me remind you, remember to smile today, appreciate the opposite gender, appreciate yourself, and of course, enjoy your life.